Okay, this next little video is sort of going to show us how to sort of solve this question one here, basically so that we can read in the age as well as somebody's name. So the code is going to be very similar, but we're going to make some errors in there and look at how Python shows us that there are errors in our code. So to start with, I'm going to, because I've got my two messages here that I want to print out, what is your age? And then we've got the input that I want. So I need to get something there. So I need a variable called age, and I'm going to create a thing called input. And let's get the two brackets and the semicolon at the end. And now my message that I want to have happen. Once again, the two speech marks. Okay, so we've asked, what is your age? And I've got a little message that's going in there. Now I'm going to print a message. Okay, and I'm going to try and run this. Ask me to save it, yep. And it's come up with invalid syntax. And it hasn't sort of highlighted anything, so I'm going to have to have a look and go through. Okay, one of the problems with syntax is capital letters are quite different. So lowercase p gives me the keyword print is highlighted in purple, so that seems to be working. So let's save that and run it again. Some more invalid syntax. This time it's got more of an idea of what's going wrong. You can see it's highlighted in red. And so that's going, okay, there's an error somewhere around here. Maybe it might be age. I might have spelt it wrong. Or it could have been something either before or after it. In this case, I'm missing the comma. So it's not running. So now run it, save it, run it. It's going fine. What is your name? Yep, hello Mr. Jones, what is your age? Let's put 10. Oh, we're saying hello 10. Don't really want that. Probably want a better message. So even though the program worked, it's not showing us the information that we want. So I'm going to go change the message to you are, because that's what the message I want. That is much better, it's showing me everything I want, and now I've gone through and sort of tested it. Remember the key things to look out for? Opening and closing brackets, opening and closing speech marks, commas where we want to join the text together, and upper and lowercase letters. One other thing that could happen is if I have two different variable names, the program will seem like it's going to run. But when we get to the point where we want to print out the age, it's not going to let us do it because it doesn't know what this age is. Because there is no variable called aged. So sometimes we need to actually go and check it. But we can look at the error here, it's saying there's a name, er name error. So that's meaning there's some sort of spelling mistake that has occurred, and that's what's causing the problem. So if I go back and remove that, this will work perfectly fine. So let's just have Mr. N. It's going to be 13, like the example. Perfectly working. So that's our quick bit about how to go and edit the text, fix errors, and detect them. So look at all the red code. That's generally where errors are going to be occurring.